every day we walk down their streets and through their vision, the wide streets commissioners, without realising how much they changed this place. Dublin expanded, grew, developed in her golden age. Their work began in the 1750s, but continued even through the turbulence of the early 19th century. In 1821 came Frederick Darley's Merchants Hall, the wide streets commissioners seeing to it that the archway came with it. It linked the then new metal bridge, the Halfpenny Bridge to us, and Liffey Street, with what was then a centre of production and industry, a temple bar now unimaginable. The bridge is a landmark, a symbol of the city, and through name changes and physical changes, the boards are gone and the tolls, but the Halfpenny Bridge remains. And when we step into Merchant's Arch from it, we hear the buskers. We encounter independent shops that put Doc Martens on our feet like China Blue, or music in our ears like Mojo Records, there so long. Some names have come and gone, but the place is a curious mix of sellers as it's always been. Booksellers and everything sellers have always called Merchant's Arch home. Merchant's Arch itself is not at risk, but what about the character of this passageway? One side of it a hotel, another hotel, would lose the spirit, the sense of place. This passageway, this laneway drawn by Harry Kernoff, Flora Mitchell and so many other hands who captured Dublin, has always been a place of trade, commerce, business. Frank MacDonald, that great authority on Dublin, used the word vibrancy. That's exactly what it is. It's vibrant. Temple Bar has been reborn since the Merchants Hall. The planned bus station, which would have flattened so much, never came to be. And instead, this area flourished in the 1970s, a countercultural bohemian thing. The Hirschville Centre, where we danced in flickers. The Project Arts Theatre. The Temple Bar Gallery and Studios. Some of these things have survived. Much has been lost. And friction defines Temple Bar. Stag parties to some, culture to others. But despite all that change, Merchant's Arch is much the same as it's been through generations. 